Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your March 2020 tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Gemini. So I'm pulling an overarching tarot card. This is the Tarot of Dreams deck by Marchetti. Oh wow! <laughs> We have the sun. Oh, wow. This is the most positive card of the tarot deck. Why? Because it is divine energy shining on you. You know, the sun shines on you this month. Absolutely beautiful, powerful energy. You know, when the sun comes out, everything becomes clear. Nothing's hidden. And that's very much with your internal energy. Everything becomes clear where you've had doubts, fears, lack of decision it all becomes clear also in your external world you see where you need to move forward you see um, how to overcome the obstacles in front of you this can be about overcoming obstacles limitations boundaries releasing things that need to be released in order to come through the other side of a situation that is the sun energy to really find your path forward this is also about your own natural power coming into your own natural power when the sun comes out everything begins to grow there's a real message of growth joy celebration and um, good news there is good news associated with the sun energy there could be some good news coming your way Gemini in March 2020 so absolutely beautiful card um, can link to the birth of children can link to um, new pets, new arrivals, that type of thing as well. Um, it's also very good in terms of money and career. Uh, it is, you know, a very good omen in terms of money and career aspects. So, you know, this is just so positive. But the universe is lighting the path before you. Okay, what is the message for Gemini, please? Message for Gemini. For March 2020, please, Angel Spirits Guides. What is the message for Gemini, please? There's too many there. Message for Gemini, thank you. Heed the messengers. You know, conversations, messages coming to you, your intuition. You know, this is about paying attention to messages, communication around you. From within and also in your external environment. Because there is real opportunity for success. This is a card of success. This is a card of growth. This is a card of, of abundance. You know, I just feel for some of you. You're being told to pay attention to signs, listen to messages. People who you meet this month may be very powerful in terms of their influence on your future. You know, beautiful. Hey angels, what is the message for Gemini for March 2020, please? What does Gemini need to hear? Thank you. Gemini, we have Rhodochrosite. Don't really know how to pronounce that, but there you go. <laughs> Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. Well, do you know what, Gemini? This is about restoration. This is about coming back to who you are, but a new sense of self. This is after the rebirth. This is you shining in your light. Bigger, better, brighter. Yeah. So there could be some restoration, but nevertheless, I think there is a positive change here. There could be a turning point between where you've been and where you're going towards. <clears throat> okay, so 
on the left hand side I pulled generally four cards to represent okay <laughs> the general energies of the month so we start with the two of wands <laughs> which just flew out Gemini okay so to the left of the two of wands we've got the three of wands <laughs> lovely below the two of wands we have five of wands below the three of wands beautiful we've got the ace of pentacles you know this is a blessing ace of pentacles is a blessing this is a gift from the universe beautiful okay So I'm going to pull money and career first and then we'll look at love and romance though I have to say sometimes the universe angel spirits guides just want to focus on one or the other so we'll see what we get for you what do we have in money and career please for Gemini this is for March 2020 please angel spirits guides money and career only thank you if possible what do we have for Gemini <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. I'll pull one more. Okay, we have the High Priestess. <clears throat> Okay, love and romance. What do we have for Gemini, please? Four of Cups. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, Gemini. So I'm going to read these together but I will pull out the areas that could be for love and also money aspects too <clears throat> because the Sun is lighting up everything I think for you you know we have the two of wands Mars in Aries with the five of wands this is a card of, of conflict it can be a card of competition um, can be a card of struggle, can be a card of one-upmanship, you find it in the corporate workplace a lot. Sometimes I see this card as interference. The fives are generally unstable energy. It's not an energy you want to be in too long. And I certainly feel as the sun begins to shine on you. And you know, we're talking about hearing the messengers here, heed the messengers. This is where you may well be connecting to your intuition from within. We've got the High Priestess here. In order to understand how to choose your path and shape your world the way you want to shape it now, take action towards new opportunity, new paths. Um, what you want in life and what you don't want now. Now in terms of money and career you might be, might, might be making life choices. You might be at that crossroads where you're making a decision on which way you're going to go. Um, this is somebody who has the world in their hands and you know they're on a battlement that they've built. So you're in a stronger more solid position than you realize and it is about almost kind of like having gone through maybe this energy this is about going from a, moving from a stable position realizing that you're in a stronger position than you realize to make life choices now this has taken the first steps to take action towards the new 
um, expansion, towards new expansion, new growth, following your passions, making life choices and decisions that ultimately promise to grow if you really put the effort and time into them now. So it's very good in terms of following your passions in love. It's very good in terms of following your passions in terms of money and career. And you know, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, that's very good in relationships and the money and career aspects too. This is about don't fear the unknown. This is where you really need to be now. Making life choices, decisions, choosing your path to bring expansion to your life. I feel this is very much about going round and round in circles too. Um, some of you may well be getting clarity in where you're moving towards. Uh, the steps that you need to take now, Gemini, to bring real growth into your life. You know, this is very much like building blocks because both of these are the young emperor. You know, we have Mars in Aries, we have the Sun in Aries. The effort that you're putting into something is going to start paying off. That is the message here, which is why you're being told three ones energies is general energies this is a big message to take action follow your passions allow your passions to lead you uh, the ones energy is very much connected to your power your potential your passion and when you really channel those energies that's when you start to bring positive manifestation the threes in tarot are the beginnings of manifestation this is where the ships are coming in on the horizon from the hard work this person has been doing. They're not interested in the past. They're only interested in what is ahead. So there could be some shift there as well for some of you, Gemini, only being interested in where you're moving towards now because this is very much about your ships can come in. Um, they're not there yet, but the work that you're doing, the effort that you're putting into something is going to bring reward long term. And like I said, the new is exactly where you need to be. You know, the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. It can be a new opportunity. The Pentacles energy are the stability and structure that we need in our lives. Our homes, our property, our money, our career, our relationships, people that we build our lives around. There is an opportunity, the very beginnings of an opportunity being offered to you now on all those levels. And um, whatever is relevant for you. A door is opening towards this opportunity. There's real potential being given to you by God, the divine, the universe. Something is around you that's there's an opportunity that is solid, that you can trust, depend on, that you can build around now. So now is the time to take action. This could be an opportunity for career, pro, um, a bonus, a promotion, a new business venture, a new business partnership. Could also be some good news coming on the financial front. Could be to do with your property, your home. Some of you could be, you know, you know, um, reviewing where you live, all of this kind of energy. But this is, you know, a blessing from the universe. You're being given a gift, uh, a blessing. There's a reason why there's a star in that pentacle, because it is a blessing from the universe. It requires effort. You know, these mountains in the distance says, you know, you're still going to have to work hard for this to make it grow. It is going to take a lot of hard work. It's not without challenges. But my goodness, is it solid? It's not going to crumble beneath your feet. And it's built for the long term. Now, like I said, that could be in relationships. That could be in business, money, career, whatever re was relevant for you. We know that this is very much about some good news, good things coming your way. Gemini, I'm going to read these cards together. Um, we have the Four of Cups. This is somebody who is either bored, you know, bored in relationships, they can be bored in their jobs, um, or they can be emotionally drained. They just don't have space to take up the offer that is being given to them now by the universe. You see the universe is offering them this cup that is full of uplifting energy and opportunity and happiness and joy, but this person is just closed off this is the divine nudge card saying now is the time to be open to the new now is the time to take that step forward and move out of this stagnant energy that you're in do something about it 
um, because there's better things ahead certainly with the cards on the table it is a time for growth it is a time for liberating yourself from whatever has gone on here I'm going to pull the two sevens here so we have the seven of swords and the seven of pentacles the seven of swords I mean this can be about deception lack of truth people's underhanded tactics could link in with this if you've experienced that in the corporate workplace in money or career could also be in relationships this is where you're reviewing what is worth your time and effort in terms of investing your time and effort um, it's a Saturnian energy and this is somebody who is frustrated that they're not getting greater reward for the effort that they're putting in they're doing all this work and yet they've only got seven pentacles the card of challenge the seven is a challenge and you overcome the challenge you reap the rewards by focusing and evaluating what is worth your time and energy and what isn't worth your time and energy now and I feel it is very much linked to this whatever has been draining wherever you also might be self-sabotaging or holding yourself back that can be the seven of swords as well this is where you're kind of thinking actually I need to be productive that is what you're being asked to do here be productive do the practical work ground yourself focus in order to really bring this to fruition and make it grow um, because there's potential around you now and this is you again possibly evaluating where you're going to place your time and energies to bring the greatest reward into your life in whatever aspect now that could be in money and career that could be in relationships to Gemini but there is some evaluation going on in order to bring you real growth good news uh, success um, you know uplifting happiness energy joy all of this kind of thing it, it links to the evaluation that's been done here the message is trust your instincts now sometimes a high priestess and I'm saying it because the seven of swords has appeared it can be about secrets being revealed as well if secrets have come to light this is where you're evaluating okay with this new information I need to look at what is working for me now and what is not where I want to focus my time and where I don't want to invest my time and effort because this is a big message of good things come to those that are patient to those that really do the work and stay committed and do the evaluation that they need to do there are good things on the horizon and we know that with the Sun being here but there's a message of trusting your intuition maybe dealing with some things that are coming to light in order to move forward because I do feel for some of you whatever this is the, the, ace, the ace of Pentacles it can link to this the ten of Pentacles now this is generations of family this is could be a relationship that's being offered to you now you have you know put in the effort to move on from a situation that was a struggle that was challenging that was um, negative in some way um, and this could be a new opportunity a new person coming into your life that you can build a relationship with for the long term this is solid rewarding relationships you know but it comes after you do this evaluation yeah now the ten of pentacles can also be very good an excellent omen um, in terms of the money and career aspect as well Gemini so this is the money card if it is money and career this is the money card there could be some opportunity or some news that is coming into you in March that will link to greater material success now that could be in your own your own business that could be some good news in terms of investment some of you might be selling your home or property um, you know I mean you know, it could be some good news in terms of getting loans approved uh, this is also you know getting the money card getting recognized for the for the work that you do in the business front you know whatever this is this is a card of of being successful in terms of money and career and getting the reward that you deserve but you know what you have to be open to move out of this energy and that's why the Sun is saying put it behind you 
Sometimes the sun is shown as a child and a horse with a wall behind. And I mean, this is, I think it's the Apollo. It could be Apollo, the sun god. Um, this is putting something behind you that is keeping you stuck, stagnant, stopping you from opening to great potential around you now. And that's why God the universe is giving you a nudge to say it is time to move forward. Take action, take action, take action. Because there's growth. The sun's shining on you, you know? Beautiful. So I'm going to pull, finish off by pulling a Divine Doors card. I, I bought these a few months ago and then I forgot all about them and then I lost the fairy cards <laughs> for about two or three days. And then I got these. Yeah, I mean, okay, quite a few cards have fallen out. Let's go with it. So we have the Three of Cups. I mean, this is celebration. So a toast to friendship in the afternoon sun. Yeah. Three cups in happiness, three cheers are done. There's reasons to celebrate if you allow yourself to move on from whatever this is. We have freedom flows. Don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. Dream good things for divine, sacred reason. Yeah. And there is a kind of liberation with the Sun card. You overcome something, you put it behind you, and you move forward, you know, very much to that new beginning. Now, we have birth, yeah, again, beginnings. Another gateway appears in view. New life is unfolding with blessings to you. What did I say? You're being blessed this month. Uh, a gift is offered. You've got the divine energy, you've got this, you know, you've got the high priestess, you've got the divine nudge. It's time to open up. Don't fear the unknown. It's exactly where you need to be, certainly for some of you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.